Hi everybody. How are you? Let me just get the thing up so I can see who's here. I know I'm late today. I didn't do one yesterday because I was up most of the night <laughs> with the dog. Um, he's scared of the wind. So, um, sorry, I'm just trying to get, get up the, the live this morning. Oh yeah, right. Yay! <laughs> right. Oh gosh, there's lots of people here. Hi Mark, hi Suzanne, hi Terry, hi Patricia, hi Stephen, hi Terry, hi Kate, how are you? <laughs> hi Suzanne. Hi Cheryl, hi Gary, hi Joe. <laughs> Everyone's coming in now. <laughs> hi, right, uh, this was the last painting I did, which was not yesterday, the day before, was it? Yeah, um, I'm gonna put that on Etsy. Someone has asked me, I think, um, for it. So I'll put it on Etsy later. So I've been bitten by something. Um, I wasn't here yesterday because um, because of Cyril, and I wasn't going to do one this morning because of Cyril. Again, um, there's a dog. He must have been shut out in the garden, sort of next door, and he was howling. And every time it howled, Cyril barked. I was doing my head in. <laughs> it kept me up again and again. And again, so I don't know what to paint today, so maybe you guys can help me. <laughs> Should I do another? I might do another landscape a bit like this. Let's see where we go. Or or just a abstract landscape, maybe. I haven't done one of those for ages. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do an abstracty sort of sea landscape. I can't see. <laughs> I don't know what cotton plants look like. <laughs> oh, I've been bitten by something. Oh, itchy, itchy, itchy. Right, I'm going to do an abstracty, landscapey thing because my brain's not working very well today. <laughs> Lack of sleep. Um, and I'm just, I'm just going to try and use a limited palette, but. I don't know, I'll see how it goes. My limited palette's not usually very limited because I've got other colours on it, but I might use this ink that I've got because I like it. <laughs> and my flat brush is around here somewhere. There he is, this one. I don't know what flat brush this is. It's got, it has, it's, I've had it for so long. It's just a synthetic, um, is it an inch and a half? Or is that two inches? I don't know. We measure. I've got a measury thing here. That's an inch. Okay. <laughs> so this is just an inch flat brush. <clears throat> and yeah, green water. <laughs> it's not, that's a really pretty colour actually. It's sort of, oops, as she throws it on her palette, on her paper. It's a sea green. <laughs> The paper I'm using is, um, it's 140 pound cold press paper with a slight grain. It hasn't, it's not rough and it's stuck down. And um, that's what that is <laughs> for people who want to know. And I'll probably be using my other brush as well, but I'll tell you that. In here, this is just normal <laughs> drawing ink. I've stuck it in there because it's easier to use because it comes in a big bottle like this. And it's black and it's just drawing ink. So there we are. That's that. <laughs> it's water soluble, I think. It's not that um it's not that one that um that isn't <laughs> should I say. Hi Emery. <laughs> 
Yes, Twix, I can paint the rock. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Marg. <laughs> Hi Chris. <laughs> Time out. <laughs> right, I'm going to start off just by wetting the paper. I'm, uh, right, okay, I'm going to do like a, a stormy, dramatic sky and a calm sea ish. <laughs> but this is just clean water. Forget about it being green. I want some sort of yellowy orange. Let's see if I can get this. The horizon is going to be down here. I always have trouble getting my horizon straight. That's where Mr. Blotting comes in, usually. <laughs> so I've got this yellowy colour. I'm, like, I'm thinking about putting it in first before it gets dirty. So I think this is Gamboge, which is nice. This is the sunset. Oh, well done, Anne Marie. That's good. Practice. You've got to keep practicing. Everyone keeps saying how easy I make stuff, but I've been painting for like 35 years. So, um, yeah. <laughs> it's practice. If you're a beginner, it's sometimes it's frustrating. I know when I try and begin stuff that I'm not normally good at. And I am going to add some of that nice cobalt blue number one by Mission that I love because it's a beautiful colour. <laughs> this might be a quick one. You can see how much the um, the ink spreads compared to the um, the watercolour. It doesn't spread as much. Which one, sometimes when you want it to, it doesn't like doing it. <laughs> Stick a bit more ink over the blue. I'm trying not to get the yellow bit to go green. So let's see what happens. Don't really want green sky. And I'm just gonna tilt my paper. Now the Gamboge is um Daniel Smith one. Sorry. Oops, I've just messed that up now doing that. <laughs> Bleach. Bleach to the rescue. That will work. Does that look like a sky? I don't know. It does a bit. Stormy clouds, I've got too much. Let's help it along, shall we? <laughs> I'm just blotting, blotting out a bit. It's just kitchen paper I use. <laughs> yeah, Steve. Steve's um, developed the link master. <laughs> he had a lesson. <laughs> I'm not sure this looks like sky. It's a bit. Um, I'll probably change it into something else. <laughs> Put a bit more blue in just to make it because sky, sky's blue, isn't it? That's better. It's starting to look like I want it to look now. I was getting a bit worried there. I oh, know. It's because I've got, um, yeah, I've got a bit more gamboge in because I can. Ew. Was that a mistake? See, I'm dripping the water over here, and I shouldn't. I always forget to move my, um, I'm just going to mess this bit up now. Move my water when I'm doing landscapes to put it to the side. Sorry, I'm just drink, having <laughs> a drink to have my new bottle. It's got sparkles in it. <laughs> Oops, 
Now I'm trying to find it. In. Right, that's that's the horizon here. So I'm going to start putting in the sea, maybe. It's going to have a little bit of land over here, I've decided, somehow. Let's just put in... I don't like how this is blo blopping. Blopping? Is that a word? <laughs> I'm so good at making up words. You'd think they're real. Oh, look, I'm reaching over there for the water. There's no water there. <laughs> like, this is the sea. I promise you. <laughs> no, it doesn't look like it yet. Try not to um where was my horizon? About there. Mr. Blotting's gonna come and help me with that, getting it straight. You haven't got your bleeding hearts yet, Melanie. Oh. Give it a few weeks, months. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a few more days. It might turn up. It's, it's weird that because I sent the bleeding hearts one. I went and paid for it at the post office. And the other one I paid for online so it comes up tracked. But I know stuff's all over the place at the minute with um, delivery time, so it might turn up. Don't give up hope. <laughs> I hope. I've done miss Stephen going. Bye. <laughs> this is a reflection. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I've got this picture in my head, but I'm not sure if it's going to work. I'm... <laughs> I need a bit of dark here. Ooh. <clears throat> Does that look like waves? They weren't supposed to be waves, but I don't know. I'm going to wait for that to dry a little bit. Now this looks like grass in the floor. I wasn't going to do that, but I might do. Mr. Blotting's coming out to um, stop the sea going green. Might make this look like land here. A bit, maybe. <laughs> There's an eye, an evil eye. There is no longer. <laughs> I just like doing this bit where the, where the water just all goes whoosh, and the ink. <laughs> then when you have to make it into something, I'm not so happy. This is the horizon again. <laughs> I told you, I have trouble with the horizon bit and I'm having trouble with the water. But I said that last time I did like a seascape, didn't I? <laughs> it's looking all right. This, I'm going to make this into the foreground and some grasses. So I've, I've just got a skewer thing and I'll drag what's there. Just make it look a bit like you're looking off a cliff edge or something. Teetering on the edge. Contemplating life. I'm waiting for this to dry a bit because I want a bit, a bit of land so it looks like you're looking out onto something. I don't know. <laughs> don't like this blobby blob blob blobs.
yeah the, the post is all over the place at the minute <laughs> and I keep getting people going my post hasn't turned up and then the next day it's like it's here <laughs> so hopefully that will happen hopefully it will arrive so that's a special painting that one I will be most upset That looks a bit, m bit more like C. Just gonna add a little dark a bit here. My dog's going mad again. Oh. That next door's dog was really doing my head in last night. I, they're the people who complained about Cyril, and I don't shut Cyril out in the garden. And if he starts barking within like a minute. I'm there getting him in. Last night they'd shut their dog out in the um, garden. They obviously gone out, shut the dog out, and they went home till like two in the morning. And this little dog, well, it's not little, it's a huge, massive, great big thing, obviously didn't want to be in the garden, so it was howling for like four hours. And Cyril was not happy. <laughs> Patricia's asking, do I do anything to protect my paintings once they're finished? Um, no, because it, they, they're watercolours, they don't need anything. But my um, acrylic ones and that other things, and if it's pastel or something like that that comes off, I will um, give it a matte varnish, but I don't do anything to my watercolours because they're... They're there. And if you put anything on top of it, it messes it up. <laughs> Even if it's like a spray varnish or something, if you try and do it, it, it just, it's no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I quite like this guy. I'm not sure what this bit's doing here, but I'm going to leave that. And there's like a blob there, but it's, it's all right. I'm going to do a bit of land here. I'll try to. So it looked like you're looking across the ooh, sky. Ooh, <laughs> no, <laughs> it's still a bit wet. <laughs> it's trouble with doing things live. You can't, things don't dry quick enough. And I don't like using hair dryers and things because it messes up the, um, how the water reacts. To make this look like that. And this, this reminds me of paintings I used to always do Years and years ago. <laughs> Not make that so harsh. And then there's a hills going off in the background. Oops. Splash it in a bit. You have to keep the lines sort of horizontal at the bottoms of the um, land because it's always like horizontal. That's how you make it look like it's supposed to be there and not like floating off. <laughs> sort of I've got some little people standing on the top there it's just <laughs> a bit rough oh no damn it <laughs> I just splodged my brush picking it up no go away oh, there's gonna have to be a bit of land there now what what do you what's his, his name Bob Ross guy there we go it's a bit of land in the distance happy mistakes Turn those mistakes into birds, usually, isn't it? <laughs> oh, 
made it worse now. Gold. There. Now I've lost a bit of the highlight on the, um, what do you call it? <laughs> on the waves, on the water. So I've got my Posca pen here and I'm just getting, that knocking sound is me getting some out onto the table. And I'm just going to try and capture because it's the light. A bit. <coughs> if it works. Mm. Posca pen and finger painting. Try and make that look like a top of a wave. My voice went wavy then as well. Did you hear? <laughs> This is, and then this is where I start getting carried away with the Posca pen. No, I don't need any white there. I wonder if Bob Ross would like Posca pens. <coughs> Sorry, that's my voice. <laughs> better. Sorry, I can't see the chat minute. How long will I be doing it? I don't know. It seems I've got a habit now. I'll probably be doing it forever. <laughs> I know sort of lockdown's sort of over now. I did say I was just going to do it whilst um, lockdown is on. But I might go back to um, not doing full paintings and doing like full paintings as a class so I make a bit of money. <laughs> Starving artist and everything. But um, yeah, I was gonna try and do some more Skillshare classes <gasps> or just sell them outright on um, the Etsy site as downloads. But um, they keep, <sighs> When I do the direct downloads on um, my Etsy, the um, the videos are with Vimeo, 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 and um, every time I make the PDFs with the links and everything on that you get, um, they keep changing the links, and it's really annoying because I keep getting people saying, "I've downloaded your class, but now I can't watch the video." And that's because they changed the stupid link thing, so I have to sort of like do it all again, which is annoying. But if I look into it a bit more, I might like do do classes as downloads, like videos like this of me talking through a painting. See, I'm getting away, carried away with my Posca pen now, and it's starting to look all grey and muddy because Posca pen is not the the best. Look, she's not even done the horizon. There we go. Stop. <laughs> Okay, Cheryl, I haven't looked. Yesterday, I, I, I didn't do anything. I was just... <laughs> I don't like this bit. I'm going to make that... Um, I will just sort of go through my emails and that later today, probably, when I've got time. I'm, I'm going to make this little bit of land here darker because it looks like it's the same colour as the um, sea and it makes it look like the horizon is wonky. I don't like wonky horizons, they bug me. So I'm going to mix in a sort of a, I'm just going to tilt the paper to make it a bit easier for me. Just to go over it, it's going to be another bit of land. So we're looking off a cliff onto a natural harbour sort of thing with the land coming in. I could start making it really twee by putting a um, a lighthouse. <laughs> Look, I painted a rock. 
There we go. <laughs> that looks better. I've finished now and I'm not going to do any more to that one. <laughs> Yeah, well, yes, Cheryl, I did actually get, I got your address. I think I saw a notification come up. I did get notifications, but I was not in the right frame of mind yesterday to do anything, so I didn't. <laughs> there, so it's a bit wrinkly, wrinkly at the minute. It was like this one yesterday. Not yesterday, day before, that you could see like dark shadows going through, which, but it's dried out nice and flat now. That's the good thing about a gummed block, even if it does get wrinkly, when it dries, it gets pulled flat, so it's nice and flat. So this one's going up on Etsy along with the rest of the, um, oh. <laughs> along with the ones that didn't sell on the live thing of the, um, oh falling down of the um, what are they called hogweeds <laughs> yes yeah, so i'll be putting those up and a few if i get time today it's either today or tomorrow i'll see how today goes <laughs> yeah go and practice stormy skies <laughs> this was just really simple i just dropped in um that ink and it sort of did it itself even though I, i'm not too happy about this blob here it sort of doesn't, I probably might come in later with a bit of that blue and take it across ways, but I want it to dry a bit first. See, you can see a shadow there and that's because it's crinkly, but it will dry flat. Okay, thank you everybody for joining me and I will see you tomorrow, she says, providing I get some sleep. <laughs> <laughs> You're having a storm right now, Anya. Mm. It's quite nice here today, actually. It's dry. The sun was shining. I can see blue sky. Makes a change. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot, guys, for joining me, and I will see you later. <laughs> Bye.